Well, it says go wing. Is live chat the one that I want, or is it? You want live. Okay, it's on live chat. Okay. There we go. We should be. We should be here. Oh, I won't believe it until Bibliridian tells us that we're here, because otherwise, how would we know? Well, then, as a cruel joke, <laughs> could never, never uh, oh, support that. Yeah. Hey there, Tinkster. Did, did that get lower, the microphone? No. Okay. No. You it's... just hit it more frequently? Yeah, I need to fix that thing. Why is this? Mm. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Hey there. I feel like. Oh, wrong. Okay. Uh, just a second. I feel like. This thing. Do you... Why don't you use the little cloth? That's what it's there for. Is that what it's there for? I thought it was just the tongue. Oh my goodness, that's the cleaning cloth. What? Which will do so much better than this t-shirt. I thought it was just there to, you know. Oh goodness gracious. Here, see? It's like a little mouth. This is your fearless co-host. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. <coughs> so yeah. You, you choked me up. Yep. We have two birthdays this week. Really? What day is it? Well, today's the 8th. So between the 8th and the 15th... Oh, I see. We have two birthdays. All right. Okay. So, happy birthday, Jake and Jonathan. All right. Well, it, it's coming anyway. It, it's coming. So it's not today. It's not yet. Um, well, can I be a party pooper? We can't start celebrating early. Yeah. Well, um, Brian, I'm really glad you're here, and I'll tell you why. It's because the leaf blowers, which ordinarily come on Tuesday, have decided to come today. They started... No, no they, they've now been doing this for a month. It's just usually they're done by noon. Yeah, they started at 8, and they were like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. Let's blow it all out. And I think what happened was that they blew all the leaves to one side of the complex, and then they realized, wait a minute, well now they're just there, and so then they blew them again to the other side of the complex, and then um, and now they're trying to blow them back. I don't think that they really I, understand I how they I actually work. don't think they're leaf blowers. I think they're chopping limbs or something. Nope, that's a leaf blower. I see him. Right, but I think like there have been multiple He's like things finding, happening. He is finding like one leaf and blowing it. You know what? It's an important leaf. Ah. All leaves matter. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was so inappropriate. It just came out. It just came out. Wow. All right. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to try this. Um, anyway, um, so here's, here's, uh, here's the thing. Um, uh, Jesse at present, she knew what the poll was going to be, but she didn't know how I structured it. Have you seen? No. I'm, I'm catching up. So basically, this poll, we're talking about our, um, our uh, demonstratives, which are going to have derived from the old third person pronoun. Mm -hmm. And um, these demonstratives, uh, well, we didn't decide on singular and plural. We can decide that later. Um, yeah, I guess that did work. Huh. So it's, it's an amazing little cloth. Yeah. That's why yeah. they give it to you. Well, why did they put it in here like a tongue? I thought it was its little Nobody bed. Nobody does that except you. Well, I thought it was its little bed. I thought that it... Do you see it... how they, they put it in mine? Well, why didn't you unroll its little bed? <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. So we're, um, we're trying to decide on the form of our demonstrative and uh, and so we're, what we're going to do is first decide on the form of the pronoun and then decide what the form of the demonstrative is going to be and so it's going to be a central vowel uh, and so we had to decide whether the vowel was high or low so uh, or uh, uh, and whether the vowel was in front of or behind the T which we had already decided on and then whether the form of the proximal pronoun will be basic or derived in other words like the proximal will just be the pronoun or it will be um, near plus or here plus the pronoun the distal is always going to be far or there plus the pronoun so consequently you're actually adding up all three of these independently what? 
<laughs> so like for example like you know this counts as plus one for a high vowel for in front and for basic proximal this one counts for plus one for a high vowel but behind and then basic proximal you see okay entertain them I thought I was done with the poll. I was like, oh, we just had a lot of specific options. You never told me that you were wanting, but that's fine. That's cool. We'll, we'll get the results of the poll um, just before we finish here. Um, in the meantime... Proximal. Yeah. Um, All right, I have a system. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I should do that. <laughs> Jonathan says, I would have thought that this would make the results easier now since you already combined them. Uh, no, no, it, it wouldn't because, um, I mean, it's not as if this one is going to win. I think, honestly, the high vowel is going to win. You know, instead of making well, maybe those not. kinds of guesses. Are, are we in the Sarkeje document? Yeah, 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 we are, we are, we are. Uh, I'm not, but you are, okay, cool. Oh, derived, okay, sure, sure, yeah. I should have been doing it that way. And behind, and Okay. I also don't know what exactly we're doing because it's been three weeks since last week's episode. Yeah, indeed, Dark Horse, if it were just counted numerically, it would be easier. Um, Brian says he loves math. He said if you ever need help with a poll. Yeah. I, I, I got a strategy. This is going to be fine. It's just taking a little bit longer, and I was all ready to be like, let's talk the poll after birthdays. And mm -hmm. then I mm -hmm. saw the method to David's madness. <laughs> this is a funny word, knag. It's like a tabahla word. I mean, can't exist because we couldn't have a word that ends in a voiced consonant. Right? I don't think anyway. Um, and voice to uh, stop like that. So this could be the um, this could be the moles version of the possum language. Nag. Why is it got that big space there? But yeah, literally I have no idea what we were doing. I, I don't remember where we are. Or, I mean, obviously we're talking to monsters. Maybe I can go there. Um. Okay. It, it won't take long now. I now have a All strategy right. in place. I just need to do the math. What's an opossum's favorite band? The Knack. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, Sarkeje distinguishes two distances of demonstrative. Is that how you say that? Oh, Silvertail. Silvertail, after I entreated everybody to vote for maximal chaos. Okay. Why would you do that, David? Why would you want chaos? Oops. <laughs> I highlighted the wrong things for easier counting. Some men just want to see the world burn. <laughs> all right. Oh, I think we do have a clear winner. Like, I don't even think I needed to do all this. I think the same thing won that was going to win. Mm. No way. Yeah, the same thing won that was going to win. No way. Really? Yes. This, which had the most votes, all of its features also got the most votes across the board. No way. So... I could have just announced the winner. Seriously? The, the high vowels didn't win? No, because this is high, high, high. 
five. That comes to 16. And then I mean, there's 33 Wait. votes all together. Come on, do it again, do it again, do it and again. And this comes to 17. No, 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 do the highs again, do the highs again. Four, some, 16. It does come to 16. And there's 33 votes total. And if you check the math, all of these have 33. So I didn't miss anything. And so, no. Oh. Unbelievable. All right, Brian, who likes math, riddle me this. Can you explain how if this one was the winner, it would just win? I, well, you know what? No, no. Because if somebody had voted one more of these, that wouldn't have changed this one's victory, but it would have tied the high vowels. Right. So, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, anyway, uh, all right. So that's the winner. As that's the winner. We're not going to go through. It was very close on the high versus um, non-high. That was the only one that was actually close because there were 16 votes for high overall and 17 for non-high overall. Um, but the front and behind were very clear. Um, Two-thirds of the voters wanted behind um, for the where the T is placed. And um, for basic versus derived, over two-thirds of the voters wanted derived. So like none of those were even close in terms of votes. The only thing that came close was the whole, was it gonna be a high vowel or a non-high vowel? All right then, so. Wait, Queen Elizabeth died? Yeah. Sorry, I let you, yeah. Like on the one hand, that's really sad. On the other hand, she had a whole life. Yeah, she did. Like a long life. Wow, does that... Hmm? Does that mean Charles is king? Will be? I think, I don't know how long they wait. But yeah, I guess so. I guess it'll be King Charles III. But like, Queen Elizabeth was legend. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Logan, you missed the poll. It was very simple. Oh, and Matei said, yeah, Charles is now Charles III. Oh, do they already do that? Like, does it, he's king immediately. Oh, oh. but it, I'm sure, like, but there's going to be, like, an official coronation ceremony down the road some point. Like, I'd imagine they would wait. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Within the month, probably. Okay. All right. Holy cow. Mm. Wow. I feel like I'm taking that way harder than I should. Because again, like she lived a whole ass life. Mm -hmm. And so, and as far as I, nobody's saying anything traumatic happened. So like, I hope that means she yeah. just peacefully. That's what I gather. Untethered. Mm. I'm glad I'm, um your state state what your state what does my hair look like it just looks like you got out of the shower recently and it's drying which it does that's yeah. <laughs> um right right Mateus. oh my goodness yeah um david keeps telling me what the temperature is normally like in california and so far um, this being my second September in California, he has mm. been wrong both times. So he's, he's 0 for 2 on September weather. It used to be He's very, 0 for 1 on October weather. <laughs> it used to be, um, it, it used to be nice and cool in September. I mean, not cool, cool, but you know, not humid and hot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> No, I may be shiny. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. The light catches me and I shine. I glisten. But we, we no, live it's, in, it's shower. We may live in the same state, but it's not yours, sir. Wow. Wow, David. This is my state. I'm, I'm now going to call it the Chris Helvey state. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, did you get the winner? Loud and clear. Yeah, I got it. All right, so it's so uh, there were the 
in terms of, there's still a lot to decide in terms of how this is going to work, so we're going to go ahead and figure that out now. But I want to just say we're just going to do near and far, not a middle far or anything like that. No, I, I think it's I think it's good time to just have a, a pretty basic demonstrative distinction because yeah. we've done some interesting and crazy things, um, including Wokuthiju, where we have no idea yeah. how to conjugate anything Still. because of it. Um, the committee and so, has to decide. So I I am happy just saying near or far. Yeah, California is about garlic, um, and I am allergic to avocados, so that's an unfortunate thing. Um, and it's okay. The rest of us eat enough avocados to make up for your lack of that. <laughs> All right, so we have two distances of demonstrative, um, but number remains. A, um, an issue. In other words, uh, we, we do distinguish number with the first and second person pronouns, and so if this is, these are coming from old um, third person pronouns, then uh, theoretically there could be a plural as well, um, at least in theory. I have those little mice in the I should take a picture. I'll post it on Discord so that way yeah. um, patrons know what, what David's on about with the I wonder I wonder if we could turn that little little mice mouse gondola into an icon. Uh, yeah, I mean I'm gonna put you in charge of that because you're better at mm. doing the edges, but sure. Hmm. Were you also gonna do the, the vanity cat picture? Yeah, that, that one I want to figure out as well. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ragdoll. I, uh, we, we believe that those in chat have been able to watch us because they've been conversing with us. Um, <laughs> Do you have Roman in the cat language? Well, I'm glad it works now, Ragdoll. Sarkesisms. I can't even say that. Hey, Carl. Sarkesisms. That's great. Hey, give me a shout of George Corley uh, pops up. Um, sure thing. What was I thinking? Oh, I was gonna go to Discord and post the photos so that way people know what you're you're yeah. talking about. Although it's like if you remember from Instagram, it's the the picture of the the mice and the walnut shells going down a little. Slide. Do we already have Roman? Because I seem to recall this. Roman comes out as Rumon. Um, I know that we put it, I thought we put it in Wokuthizu because it came out as like Luma. No, no, something. no, I mean in this language. Actually, it comes out as Luma, I think. Yeah. Um, goodness gracious. I'm, I keep getting sidetracked. How do you get something that starts with O? Oh, maybe you can. That's interesting. Can we? I don't think so. Can you get any word that starts with O? <clears throat> Is there like, well maybe a... Uh... I forgot that Discord prefers A. No, that's still Rue. Huh. Maybe like this? Nope, that's still Rue too. Rumo the Magnificent! <laughs> oh my. That's, that's uh, huh. Anyway, uh, okay, so we have two distances of demonstrative. Um, I'll just drop a note here. They derive from the old third person pronoun. Okay, now where, where did we get that T? Because now I'm forgetting where did the T come from. There we go. For third person pronouns. 
Did we Did vote we, on it? I thought that was what we voted on in the end of the last live stream. We just voted on it. Yeah, we, like we here live, it, because yeah. if you recall, we we made it like four possibilities um, yeah. where the Q was one and T, D, and I think S was the other one. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, so then... If we were to do a plural, we could just do a plural. We could vote on a plural. Whatever, in fact, we could do whatever came in second. What did come in second? Anybody remember? Hey, Freddie. You didn't even remember we had a vote. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, it may have been the Q because that one we were talking about would be interesting. That's right. And so I think it may have been the Q. Um, I think it was because of the ch forms that swayed people, which we may not get now because it's going to come after. So I don't know how that's going to work, but... Okay, well, let, let's let's just say pronouns, and let's see what happens. They derive from the old third-person pronouns um, in conjunction with the... Um, with uh, the with locative adverbs, or I'm not having my words with me. Um, well, that's okay. I just now remembered that I was supposed to open, you know, my document, so that way I could see what you were looking at. Uh, we are all sorts of behind today. They can serve as both um, standalone pronouns. There we go. And pre-nominal modifiers because they're going to kind of have to otherwise it'll get too big these are the pronouns and uh, now we're going to make a little table Ooh, tables are the best yeah and so wait 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 these are words fellow forms and not Felids, hyenas. Hey, Jake. How, hey, Jake. I hope everything is going well. And also, <laughs> we did your happy birthday wishes. Oh, we did. Um, and so, happy birthday again. Yeah, happy Jonathan birthday was week. here uh, when I I did. So now now everybody's got got their happy birthday wishes. Okay, and then. Plural. Okay, we've got these. <clears throat> All right, mm -hmm. and and thus far, we know this. Wait, was the to, it meant behind, as in where the vowel was? I was thinking behind meant where the T was. Yeah. Never mind. Where is uh? Oh, Tabby, where are you at, too? You, too, Dark Horse. Where on earth is it raining right now? I wish I could be there. Did you know there's a hurricane that's supposed to come close to California's coast? Close enough to potentially bring another heat wave on Friday? And did you know that this hurricane is Hurricane K? K A Y, Really? Uh-huh. Wow. I think I need to contact K and let her know. We don't really get hurricanes. It's supposed to potentially get something like within 100 miles of San Diego. And so that's why it's a big deal, because they're saying it could trigger what people are going to think are Santa Ana winds, but they're actually going to be hurricane winds. Hmm. And we're going to miss that, huh? Well, Friday, it depends on when it actually hits and how bad it is, so mm. I don't know. Like, So anyway. Um, yeah, there are places other than... Hmm. Um, must be nice to have rain when it's summer. I just love the name Adelaide, by the way. Hmm. I feel like that's a lovely place to live. That's right. Florida is the sunshine state. Hmm. Okay, so that is T is proximal and distal because we need to figure out what here and there forms are going to be let's see what um let me see what this would come i'm surprised out. derived got so many votes i honestly would have probably given a lot more votes to basic mm. 
You I bet. mean, maybe that's just because we have so many bigger words forming with the male classes. I'm gonna throw this out here. Just gonna throw it out there, so at least we got something. Now, here was the part um, where I didn't know quite what to do. So assuming that we have basic adverbs that mean here and there, which we can, but they come before or after to um, make these things. Don't you love when your brain is like, what language is this again? Because we have recently talked about word order in several languages, and so my brain is struggling to remember. Oh, we're, we're SOB, strong head final for this one. Um, but it's like, if it's an adverb, right, and you think about it, it comes from an expression. The adverb could be directly preceding the verb, in which case it would follow this, or it might directly precede this as a modifier, in which case it would precede this. So. So do we want it to be the here it, or do we want it to be the it here, as in it is here? It hears. There we go. There is a better one. There it, it theirs. Why would the S? I'm just trying to make it more verby, so that way it's like... Oh, it's not a verb. I know, but more verby in terms of like its placement. Oh, here we go. California and Philiformia are the two major divisions huh. of carnivores, but not all caniforms are dogs, nor are all filiforms cats. That has got to be the coolest sentence I have read. And I didn't say it right. Ever. I didn't say it right. We were talking so much about California that I said California. It's caniformia. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, that's my bad there. Wow. Wow. Still. Still the the most amazing sentence. Uh, Jonathan, he did. Yeah, that I, is I what did. David said. I did. I, I misread it. I misread it. And the Bear Republic was splitting in two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I wish I was wearing my, uh, my California shirt. Oh, that would have been perfect. Yeah. Like three lines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, and that's what we'll be forming when our new hurricane wipes everything out and there are only so many supplies going around. We'll all be in K lines for Hurricane K. As it should be. <laughs> okay. I'm actually leaning towards afterwards. I could see so that. So my the adverb doesn't feel right before it. Yeah. All right. So now we have an interesting opportunity. I swear I don't really know what a mongoose is. Except a fun word to say. Okay. The, the mongoose is actually the, the flesh and blood form of the ribbon that is used in rhythmic gymnastics when it becomes a living being. Anyway. It's <laughs> um, so now we need to decide what form this is going to take, yeah? Um, yeah, so it's going to follow this thing. And so it could be, um, you yeah, know, it could start with a consonant, in which case it would be very simple. It could also start with a vowel, in which case it'll yeah, you know, mix around okay. with, with that vowel that follows it. And if they're going to be basic, I mean, might as well make them, you know, uh, iconic. So proxim will be something like, you know, and then distal will be something like ah uh, uh. or o. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Could also have um, a is a good one. A is good for proximal. Mm -hmm. And ah! <laughs> oh, well, I, okay, so that, that helps because I am more familiar with meerkats than I am. Mongoose is. Is. Um, aww. 
I'm glad to hear that, Mateus. It's always nice to get back into the craft. Um, I know what I was going to ask. Proto vowels. Like, I feel like, no, we have both A and O. That's a different language I'm thinking. It's not the E and the U. That's what we don't have. Yeah. Which is why you had said E. 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 Yeah. Mm. E. Um, and so, I don't know, I like A. Uh, just although A ah is also pretty fun. I don't think that. Ah. Oh, look, we do allow that. That's weird. Why do we allow that? I don't know. Oh, cause is it a late? Oh, because we were going to have tei and not like a full diphthong, right? Like, didn't we say we were going to allow vowels side by side? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, we allow that. Thirty leaps. I think this was a discussion that um, we had had with Jake in live chat. I think. Yeah. During one episode. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was on Discord. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. All right. So, um, so we can do that. Um, uh, what do you like for for ear? You said you like you liked a and a. Yeah. I mean, or I mean, e works too. <laughs> the vowel that I can't do. But yeah, I like A, you know. Alright, alright, alright. Um, you want any consonants around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, something that'll drop out if we do. Really? If we do. Hmm. Um, Hold on a sec. Yeah. We could do it. We could do just like a vowel for one and like, you know, something else for the other. Make it like that was you were doing the front right or was that the back? Which one did you just do? I did the back. The it's just there we um, go. okay. You know, harmony do what it do. What happens if it ends in um, in L H? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. And I would assume that then the other form would be teach. Um, With the schwa there, or would it? No, it no, wouldn't be. Tea. It, it'd be. It's te. Not if you added a l h behind it. Oh, I thought we were just talking about this one. Because. Aren't we going to be adding this to both initial forms? Yeah. Let's see. Teach. Yeah. Oh my god, they end up Yeah, they do. They end up coming similar. out being essentially the same thing. Here, let's um Oh my gosh, they do. Hmm. Huh. Mm. How do you feel about that, David? I think it's a little uh a little too on the nose, if you know what I mean. Brian, we already did that. Don't you remember? It's a, it's honestly one of the most famous segments from our entire series, and I'm not joking about that. It was uh, season it, two. Yeah, it was for Tapahla, and Jesse was like, "Why can't we have all form, forms be different?" And I was like, "Oh my God, that's just doesn't make any sense. I want to see how you could you know logically produce something that does that." And then just on the spot, she did. And so that was what the four forms are in Tabatla. It was brilliant. Seriously. Don't you remember your history? That was, that was like really honestly one of the best moments of Langtime Studio, period. Um, so yeah, obviously we're not going to do that again. Nothing can top that. See now, yes. Yeah. Aww. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> mm, it's brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant piece piece of not just conlanging, but live conlanging. Oh. Mm. I hear you, Brian. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not such a big fan, but there's no way we're no. gonna get around it, right? Because the schwa and the the high vowel are always gonna do the same things to whatever vowels follow them. Well, the vowels, but like you know, for example, if we did this. No. It's because of that vowel split, the schwa split. It's because Q lowers it. Hold on a second. Let's see what happened if this were K. Yeah. There. Now we would have a difference. It's the Q. The Q lowers it. So the Q was going to be interesting <laughs> if it were the only form. It's now no longer interesting because we have the T. We could do like an S instead because S was another one that we had voted on um, and D was another, but D is too close to T. And so... We got SAH for first person plural. But then if we had another plural form that also began with S, it might make it even more palatable or understandable that they were gotten rid of. So we'd end up with A and E forms. Let's see. Oh wow, even with that, huh? So we used a different vowel. Um, could also do a Z and get the Z at the beginning, which would be close to a SAT form. Uh, and this is uh, Lexergy, um, where you, which you can find at Lexergy.com. Ooh, actually, um, I'll pop the link in for both because one of them, yeah. um, I'll do the basic Lexergy, well, Lexergy.com. Yeah. Take off the ending. But this is the lang time. Yeah, if you add LTS after it, it, it takes you to these uh, four. Uh, Graham did that for us. Um, the generic uh, one is just a blank sound changer that, you know. That you can do. Yeah, you can add whatever you want to. Um, okay. So then, but like also in terms of like consonant stuff, like are, well first, are you happy with this? Just that being the form there? All right. I was, but... So you're not feeling J and C? I mean, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, what do you Is doing? this going to be... This is going to be the proximal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cheers, Dark Horse. Mm. Ooh. Well, good luck, Dark Horse. Stay safe. Yeah. Um... Maybe it's that I'm, yeah, no, I'm fine with T and C. Well, what, what, wasn't, what wasn't coming together for you? I don't know, like, I, it may be that this is the first time we're going, and I'm trying to verify. I think it's going to be the first time that we're actually going to be mm. doing the two vowels side by side. Oh yeah, we did do. Yeah. We have father cat as one more. Um, and so anyway, but like, I mean, it makes sense because it, if it's going to be a feature of the language, then we should embrace words that have vowels side by side. I mean, we've got, we've got the diphthong, you know. Yeah, but we only had two diphthongs. Two diphthongs. Yeah. It came out as like, this is, um, but we only had two, and this is like not an actual diphthong really, it's a T instead of Yeah. T. We do have long vowels though. Yes. Yes, we do. And so, yes, it's fine. Let's go. 
<clears throat> Were you hoping to have a consonant in between the two vowels or at the end of them? I feel like we could maybe make the next form more different than it currently is. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. You're welcome, anime fan. Um, but no, I'm fine with it. Like, I don't know why it just wasn't at the moment, but yeah. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna tap them in here. Um, here, I'll, I'll do this. Oh my goodness gracious. Look how beautiful that is. We got protoforms right there. Yeah. Did that just for you. Thank you. Alright. And this one's gonna be S plus I'm just that lazy. Oh. Oh, I was like, wait, we're only doing S for it, but then I saw what you were doing here, yeah. Fabian. That's fine. All right. I'll then. allow it. <clears throat> All right, next. Yeah. See so, yeah. No, I don't want the H there. I either want it to be a stronger consonant or... What happened if we dropped a P in there? Would they allow that? No. No, nah, can't do it. What can you do? You can do K. Okay. Because P doesn't exist. Because P doesn't exist, that's why. Um, what about B? It, well, P exists, but only through changes. And so it would never be a protoform. Do we ha not have B going to P at the end of a word? No, it goes to P at some point because we've got P as a... As, an, um, as a new phoneme, I guess I should say. A new allophone. Uh, let's, something. Do we, do we want things like, here, is, is, is there a proto-G? I don't think there is, no. Mm -mm. There is just proto-D. Do we want D and B at the end of a word? And I, I ask that honestly. I will accept any answer. Uh, I think D and B are only voiced obstruents that are proto. They are. Do we want them at the end of a word? They are the only voiced obstruents that can occur at the end of a word because Z is already becoming T. Well, the the. Oh wait, no, no, because that gets it's the GH is not a yeah, the GH is not a GH. It's a oh god, that messes with my head. No. Do you want me to throw up a poll? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> no. And then. Uh, if we just change the uh, the punctuation of what uh, Logan wrote, <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Yeah, voice stops do do voice before and after voiceless stops. So this is just like end of a word. Are we gonna drop them? What was the, was that the Simpsons bit that you had recently introduced me to? Oh, With yeah. That business card? Oh, yeah. You know, works on retainer? No. Money down. <laughs> Trixie punctuation, indeed. <clears throat> um, by the way, uh, I do read that poll. I want to be sure that everybody is understanding that a yes vote means that we will have B and D at the end of a word. That's that, a little late for that if you thought they were voting the wrong way. Um, so th this means right now with the result is it's going, everybody really wants voiced B and D at the end of a word. They don't want word final to voicing. I just want to make sure in chat, please tell me, make sure that's your understanding of the poll. Please tell us if that was not your understanding and we can do another poll. 
I thought, I thought, sorry, I guess I should have yelled before I... Well, I think that sometimes, um, at least this is what would happen with me, I would just assume how the poll was going to read and not, like, really read it. You would never. Uh, you know I would. Says the, the person who thought he was voting for parents. Wait. Miles misunderstood the assignment. You being serious or is that a joke? And one vote's not going to change it. <laughs> Parade those things. Um, okay, so we, I mean, it's a very heavy split. Yeah. Now do we do a follow-up poll for, did you understand the initial poll? <laughs> Yes or no? Oh my God! So and Miles, do... Miles did misunderstand. Um, Abby didn't misunderstand, but now changed her mind. But from what to what? From what to what? Do you want to do one more poll? Follow up. All right. One more poll. Okay. And and now just say, may, maybe specify what the yes means. More time. Should we allow D and? Ends of words. Okay. Yes. Keep voiced stops. Word final. Yep. No. Devoice those word final stops. Yep. Okay. Here we go. One more time. This is going to be contentious up in here if it like 50 50 split or something. Mm -hmm. Well, we got a, got a strong showing. Should we allow a third poll? <laughs> it's a poll if we should allow second polls in the first place. Goodness gracious, 50 50. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh how how okay i was like there's no way it could be 50 50 with an odd number of votes but then the percentages switch yeah this is like oh shoot i gotta let it keep going all right um, bibleridian show us the way This is, this is tense, and after we finish th this poll and make a decision, oh gosh. Burn them all. That's, we got one more, we got the same number of votes as viewers and it's tied. So do we end it? And then make a decision? I don't know. I don't know what to do. But once we finish this, we need to celebrate. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice <Yeah>. magpie. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right, if we do a coin flip, do you want to do one coin flip or best of three? I'm ending it because we now have like three more votes than viewers and it still ended <laughs> at 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Mateus. There were 20 votes. I know, that's why I said we now have more votes than viewers and it was still tied. Oh, my phone is in my pocket. How silly of me. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. I thought you said your thumb was in your pocket and I was like, oh, God, that's a weird place to keep it. All right. Well, it just makes things when easier. I always know where it here. is. I always know where it is. It's in my pocket. All right. Um, here, I want to see if I can... Turn the uh, sound on. Brian says coin flip till yes wins. Like keep them, the B and D. Okay. For the record, I'm fine with B and D staying. Here, hold on a sec. I want to see. I'm gonna go ahead and um, instead of using the dollar coin, I'm gonna go ahead and in honor of the late Queen Elizabeth, switch to the pound. 
All right. Heads. B and D. Make sure I'm in frame, by the way. Just a second. Sorry, I, I accidentally hit my mail thing and it opened up. It's in frame. Whoop. Tails. Can you see it? Like. Yeah, I mean it's a little shiny. It's. All right. Tails but will be devoicing. Okay. Here we go. too much okay waiting oh my god this is like even more tense it's heads what was heads it's heads B and D wins the queen has it okay now I can exit that cuz I like I said I accidentally clicked on my mail program so it didn't all of a make I any mail. noise though oh I think I had to do there oh, you go. Yeah, I had to do There's it. the noise that is that, belated, that, that but it's noise. fine. That was the noise. All right. Very good. Very good. Let it be so. No change shall be made. All right, so now let's get back to the form of this thing. Um, so that doesn't mean these have to end in a B or a D. No, it was, no just That was that just like, oh. Okay. We allow this. But yeah, so like, do you want a consonant at the end? Do you want a consonant separating the vowels? Or... Like, what if it were, um... Just a second, I'm like, in my head. Hmm. Um doing an L to see how that feels. Got uh, that. See that? You got it. Or T-L, C-L. Oh. Either. I was just trying to figure out how that felt. Uh. Ooh, it's like teal. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm feeling the L. I like the L. Okay. Which which do you prefer? I think it's marching band practice now. Yeah. I don't know. Paul. 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 All right, this time. Read, read the poll. There's, there's only one of these. What should our... These are distal, right? Uh, yes, this is a distal demonstrative. Forms B. Alright, so it's either going to be te al slash si al, si al or te woo, let's not forget that slash See, la. and those are right, right? Before I hit send. Yes. Okay. So it's just the position of the L. Woo! I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we got we got some drones out there. We are across the street from a high school. From my former high school. All right. Fifty-fifty. <laughs> Only, there's only a handful of votes. We're fine. Yeah. Ooh. Otherwise, we're going to have to pull up coin flipper again. Tela, telola. Um, tela sila versus teal sial. And in preparation. I, I'm really sorry that I didn't do that pronunciation sooner. I, I, I need to remember to do that. But yeah, de la sila versus de al sila. While people are voting, I wanted to point out we got a new little pencil holder in honor of Ingala, <laughs> little rabbits. And I think that's in frame. I'm just holding it up until. There we go. Yes, that is. Okay, I think I mainly got that picture. But I was, I was pushing it aside for a moment so I could reach the Kopi Co better. Yeah. But, uh, um, oh, I, and we have, we have all the votes we need. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's slewy enough, Miles, but I will tell you that having La be there is a complete slew because it means there in French. All right. 
very good. But it doesn't mean they're in English, therefore is it really a SLU? Does the E in SLU stand for English? What does SLU stand for? Um, I know where to find this information. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Dink. <laughs> I think it stands for existing. Existing words? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Copico. There's no wrong way to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. I got a little bit in there that I want. Mm -hmm. I want every little bit of my Copico. Let's see. It. Got it. There we go. Serendipitous convergent linguistic evolution. The W was sort of added on as a better way of saying it. Hmm. Huh. So yeah, that it is a slew. La is a slew. It's just for French, not English. All right. Let's do it. Let's write it in. And now we've got these adverbs as well. Mm hmm. Prime. Escrew. Proximal, distal, singular, and plural. What a nice, what a nice little set. Delightful. Um, uh, these are um, okay. I think that says all uh, about all we need to say about these. Yeah. Oh, bye, Miles. Have fun. Hmm. Or at least I hope it's something fun. Mm-hmm. Place where things are going to be happening. Okay. All right, we got some forms. Yeah, that's pretty good. To put a bow on the demonstratives. Yeah, like I feel like, is there anything else? I think that's like it, right? Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. All right, so we got... Verbs, we have a passive form. Oh, that's unfortunate, Jonathan. Participles. Oh, well, we had, we had a stronger thing. Uh, we had a stronger win this last time, so. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, let's look um, at our cases real quick. Nominative, genitive, ablative, ablative, illative. <clears throat> Are we going to need a demonstrative case table? Or are demonstratives not going to take the cases? Because all our pronouns have different case forms, right? Or personal pronouns? Yeah. Okay. Why is the vowel long in these two? Um, I'll pull up the sources for you. Except they're not there. Mm -hmm. Was this the boat? What's the protoform of tukyo? I thought the, the suffix was yar, wasn't it? The Yeah. Oh, it is? What? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, this one? Not that. No. 
Why is this vowel long? I don't know. That one is because. Yeah. Is this do you want to do you want to pop it? Yeah, because what's uh, what's this suffix? Isn't it yar? Um. That was class nine. Class eight. Uh, eight, I mean. Yeah, it is yar. Yar. Varian says it was a vote that made them the same on Patreon. Why that class, though? I think it affected more than just that one. I'm remembering. I don't remember which poll it was, but I feel like it affected like three different classes. Yeah, class five and class three. Okay. Thank All you, right. Viren. All right. Just want to make sure that was right. Okay. Um, Can you put a note below? These are correct. These three <laughs> classes were affected by analogy. Okay. Well, protoforms of these are claw, snout, shadow, belly. Mm -hmm. um, because they come after the demonstrative, the, you know, here. We, we're going to mm -hmm. have this here claw and, and, and that there claw if we do the forms. I should have something to write on. Can I um, have a little post-it note? Woo! Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I'm still waiting for my my desk. It. Are you going to want to show it on screen? No. Okay, so it doesn't matter yeah, if it's it like matter. super dark or whatever, but that may be dark enough. Okay. So we have to plus right a that's that's how we do it that's how we're doing it so yeah just t so yeah so this here um oh my god yeah this snout here mm -hmm. yeah i've seen if we happen to have brought a bigger notebook but no no Okay, all right. So yeah, these are gonna have special forms. So, but just for the ablative, ablative, and illative. So we we should write those up there. I'm glad we talked about this. So, um, and it kind of makes sense to put them in the demonstratives or the maybe the adverb section. Do we have an adverb section? Um, well, there's a section. We haven't done anything with it yet. Okay, manner locational and um, manner adverbs are done in a fashion that is grand and delightful. Um, locational adverbs. Um, how about many place nouns? can be turned into locational adverbs by means of locative cases. Um, there are two basic locational adverbs that have special forms. They are A, which is here, and La. There. Because just by itself, it, it's it's a straight up sclue, yeah? Yeah. Super 100% sclue Very sclue Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what, what I like to say? Mm -hmm. Let's sclue the French. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These can appear in the olive. Um, What's the one in between the ablative and the illative? Ablative. 
top of it as well. Let's make it clear. I think French language is beautiful, so I'm happy with screwing it. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that's understood. Yeah, the French language was my first love. Mm. Then I had to try to use it. Anyway, these can appear in the all of all of the all of cases. Um, their forms are shown in flow. All right, so now another table. Okay, so this is going to be. Um, I guess let's do it across the top. So let's uh, yeah, call them after. Call this. Are we calling it nominative? Um. Let me look at the other charts because that's the only place we would have it. Standard. Standard. Yeah, because it's used. Because we otherwise don't have case. Except for these four. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, proximal. Just distal. All right. I think I'm just like, like let me tell you, distal. <laughs> I mean, that's just beautiful. Eh, la. Okay. And now, oh, like, now I need help. Yeah, um, so A for olive is going to be followed by kiss. Um, no, or no, that's, preceded. That's not how these are going to work. Yeah. So, Because that would then be specific to singular, and we'd need singular and plural distinctions as well in the chart. Mm -hmm. We need another pro form. What would it be? Wait a minute, no. It would be, it would be singular. We would use the singular. Okay. Because there's not plural places, right? There's not plural here's and plural there's. I, at least I can't think of a language where, say, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, Japan, I went there, uh, is one form. And it, but, you know, like Japan, Korea, and Thailand, I went there, different form, meaning plural there. I don't think it exists. Well, I could imagine all the here's. This is um, really where, this is really where we need um, somebody to, to jump up in the comments and say, oh, there are tos there's totally plural there and here. But what if we used a different one and it wasn't the demonstrative? Hmm? Here, hold on a sec. Um, what if it were based on like the class nine catch all form? Well, but, so the, the whole point was though that this thing would be inflected into a case and then it would take this thing afterwards. Um, there is totally plural there in here. Give me examples. Give me examples. Where, where's about do you come from? Hmm. I guess so. But those is different than there. See, that's different. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Matthias. Well done. Nice. All right. All right. And then, um, so we have this. Matthias for the win. Yeah. If I could throw a Copico through the, the webcam to my taste right now, I totally would. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, but that's not. But also, Bib, that's super interesting. That's cool. I feel like my. It's sliding. There we go. Ooh. 
to get slay. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, fair. Maybe we'll lead another one in honor of you. Look, there's magic, and then there's just nonsense. <laughs> that's what wow, that's David. Plural there is. Um, All right. Case. Next language I make, I'm making a plural here and there just for you. And next we have yao. How would it even work? How would it even work? Like, I don't know. I'll tell you when I create it. You just you just calm down and wait. It, it, just, it wouldn't enjoy use. It would just die. Oh, it's, it's, it's very important to refer to the here that you're standing on and the here that I'm standing on. It's, it's our here's. And then, you know, the theirs is theirs. There, there's one there and another there, and put them together, and they're, they're theirs. The many theirs. Yeah, indeed. So there's a plural there in English, too. Stay grammar, Brian. <laughs> Wrong there. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Brian. Tayele. Tayele. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. And what have we got for this? Illative. Nom, 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 nom. Yes. Yeah. Abby, I think you're absolutely right. We need to put this in the dark document. Font. It's underneath the little cat. <laughs> okay, I got that. Oh, I like how it's really. So the L blocks nasalization? Yes. Dang. Really? Do you like my conviction? I thought it was magical. It uh, it cheapens <gasps> the beauty of the cats. Wow. Okay. What what font do you suggest? Edwardian script. Oh, wait. There's there's a better one. Do you have the um, what, Zapfino? No, that one gets really big. I thought it was one that started with like a V, but maybe not. Hmm. Zapfino does get, you know what, you want to do elegant, you want to do big, we're going to do it. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And, um, and don't worry, I'm going to make it even bigger, so that way it's on two different lines. Hmm. And then we're going to make it right, so that way that, oh, yeah, there that you go. does that. Uh, I'll go and show everybody that, but first I wanted to be sure that you saw this word that I just created, which, you know, which comes out as, you know, ononholu. So indeed, it does block nasalization, but what do you think about this word, huh? <laughs> and that, my dear, is the sound my stomach makes when I'm hungry, and so that needs to be the word for tummy rumblings. Where is it, by the way? Um, well, you can join me yeah, in the document, the thing to do. but it's like on page 14. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at where the period falls. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's like really nice. Inside the E. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm loving those H's. Delightful. All Delightful. right, it has been clearly displayed on screen. Yeah. All right, so then um, I wanted to, to uh, in case we glossed over it. Vivaldi, I think, was the one I was thinking of, but I didn't see it in my list. Thank you, Ozidaya. I don't have it. 
Yeah. I think it's on my other computer. Okay. So what we did here is we took the pronoun um, and made these into specifically to here, from here, and into here. Um, but actually, I need to make another note. Let me grab uh, something like this. Because, um, oh. Uh, I want to make it clear that um, uh, for generic, uh, for okay, for the generic locative sense of here and there, the standard form is used. Uh, recall um, something like the allative would also be used for the locative for a standard noun, a standard place noun. Um, these adverbs differ in this respect. Um, these are primarily used for motion or for emphasis. Emphasis. Yeah. And then I want to make sure that we're happy with these forms. These forms as in tekeze and tekezle. Yeah, and, and remember initial stress, so e, tekeze, teyele, teneme, tekezle, teyele, tenanle. really interesting that you only get that middle syllable with the, uh -huh. uh, I like it. Yeah. Well, Silvertail, I hope you catch up. I don't know how I'd feel if a cat said that at me. Um, I think that you could say that about just about anything that could be said. Like, think of anything that you could say, and I, could, I might respond, I don't know how I'd feel if a cat said that at me. Just anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Glad to have you back in lifetime. All right. Uh, and so, um, <clears throat> as a final and important note, mm -hmm. there is absolutely no such thing as a plural there. A hypothetical form. We're here like, hold on, or here. Thank you. Because okay. otherwise you leave it open to interpretation. A hypothetical form like C, I don't know. Um, it would take the same, right? Let's, let's do this. Using the former plural pronoun base is so nonsensical that reading the form itself. When anime fan Logan was listing a form um, of violence, fonts the brain because we were looking for fancy fonts. Oh, do we have enough stuff for example sentences? And just remember, the more example sentences we have. The more I can pull from to draw, I'm, I'm kind of running low in my, my bucket. I guess I could start trying to use the verbs on my own. But Here are some fancy examples just for you. Oh, excuse me. How could I? I don't know how you could because that's just <coughs> that's rude to only give them taste one tea. Here, I'm going to use this cat. Oh, I forgot to draw. I could say we are shovels because that became a thing. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. So, um, uh, we need a verb. That's got, like, do we have, like, a, I don't know, like, stand or sit or anything like that? We have the verbs that we use for grammaticalization, and then we also have to bleed, to hand, to chase, to sleep, to nap, to hug, to throw, let's, to be rough. Let's do it with nap. What is nap? Cats. It's really cots. Cots. Okay, can we go and conjugate that? So we're like, the cat slept here, so... See, look. Just a second. Intransitive. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, goodness. There we go. And the intransitive is the last. Oh, we already have it. Yeah. And you wanted, you said Tilik? Yes. Okay, so cuts mob. Oh, look, we have something ending in a B. Look at that. Yeah, we do. Cut that would have changed. Cuts mob. Good thing we don't have to go through and change all those. Of course, if it was cuts mob, it would almost sound like cats now. Do you really want to screw it? <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Mumu Ekats Mab, yeah. And that is, yes. all right, we don't need to do anything else because it's intransitive. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Mumu Ekats Mab, the cat slept here. Mm -hmm. Ekats Mab, the cat slept there. Um, <clears throat> now, um, we need some sort of verb of motion, if we have one. Um, okay, so throw. That actually works. Chase. If the, the throw works if we have something that can be thrown. Oh, we have a rock. Okay, yeah. So let's go to read. Um, read, and do we want... Tealik. Tealik. Read me and not uh, read. Um, me. Hold on. What is Wait. rock? These are. Hard? Did we have these here? Verbal agreements. Suffixes was me and it is. Okay. No, wait. That's only if a. Uh, read me. Read me test. I think. The clue is in this clue. Nice. Um, yeah, to go back. Because right, I need to see if that's correct. Okay, so you're good here? I believe so, yeah, because okay. rock is the hard, right? Yeah, yeah. And. Reads me keys. Okay, beats me keys. Uh, now let's find rock. Oh, um, right. Ah, what is. What did I just do? Um, huh. Momo kahe reads me keys. The cat threw the rock here. Ooh, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mumukah La Ritmikis, Cats for the Rock, there. Um, now, um, this is uh, technically. This is stationary. Can't do the rock here. I'll be in here. Because it refers to the throwing action. Action. So then these take a say. And to 
gets there. Yes. That's a cool distinction. Well, it's a little verbose. It's a little verbose, but you know, I think it's fine. Well, the the thing is, we, what's what's kind of interesting about this language um, one like okay. No, it's more than just cats. Just straight up cats are going to take the cat agreement, right? Yeah. But like, if you ever had a sentence where Moo Moo was missing, but it was a class one agreement marker, you would assume it's a cat. Yep. All things equal. Yeah. And so that's kind of interesting that you could potentially get something like, you know, Kafka reads Mikis, meaning like the cat threw the rock there. Oh sure, it would mean <clears throat> it would mean like he, she, or it who is a cat. Right. And so um, it's yeah, like any cat, a cat. We don't know who, but yeah, it's just pro drop. But um, it'd be like if you know if you pro drop third person in Spanish, but somehow you could have uh, an A or an O in there to indicate masculine or feminine as well. Um, that's so and that's by pretty, tincture. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, just th throw out um, in the uh, third and fourth examples above. Um, you can actually use a and la to mean to here and to there, respectively. Um, in Formal situations um, when, when precision is required, though, a and la must be passive, while um, the case forms will be plotted. All right, there we go. Did you want case forms or just case form? I want case forms. <clears throat> All right. Good deal. Um, I would say since we were in the adverb section, let's go ahead and talk about manner adverbs. We should probably talk about adjectives first, huh? Might be helpful. Yeah. In participles. That's, that's really the next big thing. Figuring out adjectives and participles. So, do we have, have a section on adjectives? Yes, we do. I, do I keep missing them? Well, it's above verbs. Oh, it is? Right there. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, first, we wanted to have stated verbs for our adjectives. Yeah? Uh, and so then it's just a matter of figuring out how those are going to work. So let's, uh, do we have any yet? If not, we need to create To be one. rough. We do? To be rough. From where our language name comes from? Sur. Okay. And then it'll come out as sur, right? Ooh. Or it's sar in our language name. Oh, is it dragged down? Yeah, it's dragged down, Saj. Okay. So, um... So this was where... Uh, so it would just be intransitive. Right. Okay. 
And this is where we then need to decide if there's going to be on these kinds of verbs the telic and atelic distinctions. Yeah. And I think that there will be, I think it makes sense. To just treat them like any other intransitive verb? No. Uh, Sarkaj so has a, a class of stative verbs that perform the function of predicative, predicatival? Predicative. Thank you. Predicative adjectives. Uh, they are intransitive. And they could be adjectival predicates if you wanted. That's actually better. Transitive by default, and um, okay, transitive by default. What am I? What am I saying here? Can, did you want to indicate that they could do the telic and atelic? But but can have can't display. Uh, but do make a to this t. Um, the AT, like, uh, sorry, uh, um, oh my, I know, give, give me just a second. Um, I was trying to keep that page open for you, and you're, you're just bouncing this document all over the place. Uh, adjectival state of verbs by default, uh, AT, like morphology. Um, this is the basic form uh, uh, method of describing any object. Because the uh, assumption is if you're like saying something yeah. is rough, it's still rough and yeah. going to be rough. And I feel like morphology can be used. Uh, I believe that would still, Jonathan, be adjectival predicative adjectives if we decided to do it that way. Do you morphology can be used? Um, that I like magpies, adjectival predicaments. Um, well, telic morphology would indicate um, either a temporary yeah. state or past state. Thank you. Um, just to indicate a, a temporary state or past uh, state um, for whatever is being used. I'm not really writing this well. Uh, these examples will make it much, yeah. much clearer. Okay. So this will be good. Okay. Uh, so help me out. Barley is rough. Okay. Well, first, let's say a t look. Remember, we're gonna have the ah. Okay. For whatever. That ends up being. Got it. Um, barley was borrowed, and wasn't there something special about how we were going to do that? We chose a. He okay. That shows up because, but it doesn't say what class it is. No. So keep going. Like we we just wanted something borrowed, and so we didn't put it in a class. Really? Okay. Generic pronoun. Oh no, we 
probably didn't indicate. So barley, what, okay, what so class should it belong to? It was borrowed from... Wukatishi. Yeah. And what, what was its form there? Sipi? Like, I think we straight up borrowed it. Um, we borrowed it specifically to show that the H would appear in the genitive form. Okay, so see. All right, let's go to our classes. Would barley be, like dried barley is hard or rough, but like when yeah. you cook it, it's soft or spongy. So do we want the barley corn? Assuming like the, the dry one, which would be class five. So I mean, they're tough little seeds until you cook them, then they're all nice and soft. Yeah. It would be silly to have a distinction between hard and wet barley. Um, I think that's it's its natural state, its uncooked state is the one. So it's, uh, it's gonna be class five. All right, so then we need the, the ka form in there. Class two, the animate diminutive because it comes from the mice, but <laughs> but no. Um, so then, uh, what is it? Is it just? Uh, and then the intransitive atila comes from ulk, so it would just be a k. It wouldn't have a vowel. Okay. And so it would be. Sarka. Yeah. Barley is rough. Okay, so now let's do the next one. Okay. <clears throat> and that one comes from, let me get on the intransitive, ib. So it's going to be eeb uh, um, or whatever form for this one. So sarkab. Oh, I think it's sarkob. Oh, oh, that would make sense. You can go check in the green table. It's either ab or ab. That, that, that's wrong. That's got to be wrong. What was the protoform again? Um, protoform is ab. Um, oh, it's because we only put front and back. We didn't do high, low, like we didn't do the rest of the... Yeah, vowel. but like go back to that table. The table's wrong. Yeah, like what's the protoform for cots? Q. Something is a just second. Um, Q-O-Z. Yeah, Kotsmob. Um, so are all those forms wrong? Yeah, that one's right. Kachmeb is right. But, hmm, we're gonna have to go down there. Um, yeah, this should be Sakob. Uh, because if the protoform is e, eh, then um, then it's getting non-high agreement, and the only thing that non-high doesn't get is a and a. Eh. So it should be o. And are there any others, or is that it? Well, that's, that was the form just for the intransitive tea with. 
all the others come from different sources. Tachmed. Wasn't the other form? Wait, I think I'm just misremembering. Tachmed, that's, that's correct. That's fine. And that is what it says in the table. That is, yes. For some reason, I thought the table said something different, so never mind. This one is wrong. We just copied it from the table. Katzmold, there we go. Mula Katzmold. And so now it sounds net less like catnap if we devoice the B. So you're fine. I'm not going to devoice the B. Ooh. All right. All right. So I don't know if Mateus wants another poll here in chat or is referring to the fact that we should probably start thinking about what the patrons are voting on for next week. Oh. But it is a good idea to start thinking about what the patrons are voting on next week. We still... Um, I believe this list is still accurate. That I mean, adjectives were working it out. Infinitives. Um, if we wanted to do something with valence, I think we figured out passive, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, but like causative, applicative, the participle forms we still need to do. We don't. We haven't talked about commands and yeah. multiverb clauses. Well, we, we also haven't talked about um, like coordination of like say noun phrases. Um, no, but okay. let's do this first. Now, uh, when, when Mateus was saying poll time, he was talking about what class CP was going to be in. Oh, okay. Well, so, still, it's a good time to start thinking poll. We should probably enter this in the dictionary so that we know what class that we put it into. Um, and it was class five, right? Yeah. Wait, I don't even know. Goodness gracious, how did we do these? Because the the class does the class matter with the case suffixes, or is it just the the ending that matters? So like these. Um. No. So. Um, We'll, we'll have to like figure out how the cases work. Do you just want me to put it up in the vocab list? Uh, that would be the easiest way to do it, yeah. So, CT. So here's here's what we're here's what we're looking at, option one. Um, so basically option one is that relative clauses end with a fully conjugated verb that occurs directly before the noun being modified. Um, consequently, uh, adjectives will simply be relative clauses. Um, and so will participles. Okay. Option two um, stated verbs like adjectives. Um, occur pre-nominally um, in their base form. Um, so their uh, most basic form. Uh, no, languages don't have to have participles. So their most basic form is uh, adjectival. 
Uh. And so if that were the case, then like Sarsithi would mean rough barley. Yes. Now, what do what do our passives look like? We have a passive auxiliary. Right, passive auxiliary. Yeah. And we have. It takes class nine of three. Same. So that the base form of a verb is also uh, a, an active participle. Passives would be formed using the uh, passive auxiliary as an active participle. So we call that option 2A. Option to be okay, so just mm -hmm. the adjectives work that way, not other verbs. To make sure I understand what you mean by that, passives will be formed using the passive auxiliary as an active participle. Um, the passive aux auxiliary ends up like not having any retained meaning. And so if I wanted to say like the chased mouse, like the one who was chased, would I have to use this whole thing, like suhong kab? I guess kab, because that's the so is the agreement. Would it be like suhong yep. kab? Yep. Is the chaste, and then tsutsu mouse. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Because it's. Actually, I don't know, because the thing that ties those two together is the agreement. Okay. Um, so I might have to look at that. Okay. Option three. Adjectives. Well, actually, this adjectives work like the above. Verbs can be turned into state of verbs and then work like that. That is far as it is. Okay. We'll have to work out these details. With examples, yeah. And I'm going to have to do it probably tonight because we're going to be really busy otherwise. Because we're leaving on Saturday. And again, the plan is still to do the live stream Thursday, but we really won't know what things are like till we get there. Because at that point in time, we will be in Denmark, and we're going to go to Sweden before we go to Denmark. By the way, Sweden, Denmark, and Iceland all have different currencies. They're all called krona. None of them are euros. But they're Swedish krona, Denmark krona, and Icelandic krona. Wow. Yes. Also, um, Iceland and Sweden have the same type of plugs. Denmark has a different kind. Oh no, do we have the right adapters? Yeah. Okay. This won't be able to charge too many things. Do we have two of those adapters so we can both charge our phones? I don't know that. Interesting. Yeah. And it's, it's also the case that like some of these things where it's like, um, it'll still work, but you gotta like hold it there. Oh. Cool. This is going to be an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. But we can at least plug in one computer, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be no problem. Okay. We need to bring the right cords then to be able to put both phones in one computer if we can only charge one thing at a time. Yes. In the wall. Yeah. Okay. 
Whew. Okay, so that's just packing aside. <laughs> Get done tomorrow. Um, I think this will be a good poll. Yes, unfortunately, it will be a complicated poll. Yeah. In terms of writing out what needs to be done. Yeah, and an important one, so, you know, look lively, yeah. patrons. Yeah. When David tells you to vote, you vote. <laughs> mm. Mm. Anyway, we got a few minutes. You want, let's let's figure out uh, CT. Let's do it. Okay. Let's take a noun. Use me. Mm. Do you want me to have this pulled up, or would the protoform list be better? Uh, I don't know at this stage. Okay. Oh wait, this would be... These are front files. Okay. And, uh, and so I guess... That would have to be considered the protoform because it was borrowed in that way. Do we write it in IPA though, since everything else is written in IPA? Yeah, so. Here, let's, let's be. Let's be specific, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Easy part first. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, there is no uvular coloring at all in high valerian. You know, if pronounced correctly. I might just do it on accident, but it's not a feature of the language. Um, and then we say this is from mm -hmm. All right. This is class five. Barley, barley corn, no distinction. Okay. <laughs> so I think what's going to happen, because mm -hmm. the W's here are showing up because that's, you know, part of the, the class. It's the H. Right, so it should be H. So yeah, it should like be C -T C -T -E. Yeah, it was, we actually did that one. Now for the rest of these, I think it should be geese because it's outside of the, of the, the initial foot. Oh, because um, it's kiss. <laughs> Very interesting. That's Vibloridian for bad. <laughs> um, mm, how do we get TH in this thing? I don't know, but just do a T would at least show us the form, right? Let's see what happens with that. Oh, yeah. there you go. All right, see the geese. Yeah, I thought that TH would actually do TH. <laughs> All right. And then and this, then you, just, yay. you just throw YALF on the end, right? Yeah. Yeah, see the YALF. Yeah. That's good. And then num is the last one. Um, yeah, and so it starts with an N, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. so that's, that wasn't a big deal. Because the only reason we had to do the H for the genitive was because it's the only form beginning with a vowel. Yes. And so it shows up in borrowed words to separate the vowels. Yes. And it shows up in, it, it said that we can also use it in, in words that have lost their class suffix marking that are really common that end in vowels. Yep. All right. Woo. Perfect. All right. We we'll survived right. that. Nice. Oh, wait. On the other side, I'm going to put C, P, N. We said both barley and barley corn. Yeah, because there's no singular plural distinction. Now, um, if they make a specific type of barley soup, maybe this uh, word will get another class, uh, another another noun in the, in the class. But uh, for now... We have two B words now. There we go. <laughs> 
score. And I'll take it off the list up top because yeah. that list up top is really meant to be what we still need to enter, yeah. which is extensive. And we need to um, maybe create some numbers. Some numbers, yeah. And figure out how they work. What happened? Did I do that? Uh, you must have, because I sure didn't do anything. Um, numbers. I mean, just three nominal modifiers? Because we had said... They could be verbs, too. My books are three. Oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> In which case, like you, you didn't even you wouldn't even need a verb for have there. I kind of like that. Instead of I have three books, it'd be my books are three. Yeah, like I mean, you could still have some sort of a have construction for other things, but you just wouldn't need it for this. So it'd just be a unique little feature of this language to have the numbers be verbs. And then you can just... And then in that case, how the boat goes will help us understand how to use numbers with nouns. If it's like my three books. Yeah. But uh, just for uh, just for jumping off with, you want to come up with, in the last few seconds, forms for one, two, and three. Um, I feel like that's a bit ambitious. Just say the first three things that come to your head. Un, deux, trois. That's not even how you say those. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, okay? I tried. Magpie likes Mar. Gotta have Mar. Do we have... For, for, so Mar for one, two, or three, what do you like it? It's too heavy for one. Okay. At least three. Okay. And it just comes out as mar. Okay, mar is now three. All right. My books are three, mar. All right. Two or one? B. For two. So uh, B I E N? Because we already have B I N. That, I, I'm pretty sure that B-I-N is one of our case forms. It sure is. Yeah, but B-E-N is not. Here, I'll just drop that in there. Oh, for your friend's cat, Mar Mar. Uh, okay, and then how about one? Looks like you're about to say ah. But with a W after it, so like, ow. You got it. I believe that that just stays. Right? For half of a meow. This is an ow. Ow, oh, yep. All right. Ow, bath, mud. I like it. All right. Well, I'm glad you like it because we're out of time. Right on. And we hope you all have a wonderful week. Stay grammar and. and we sure hope that we are live and no problems next Thursday, but um, yeah, we will be coming at you live from a new new place. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Stay grammar.